Hello again, this is Miss Elizabeth with the second part of today's lesson, September 20th, 2020. At First Congregational Church, we're talking about the experience of community. And uh, I'm going to start from the uh, curriculum of progressive Christianity, which we have uh, excerpted here. Um, it's a curriculum that our church purchased, but doesn't hold the copyright for. Um, but uh, let's start with a Bible verse, a little Bible story. And this comes from Matthew chapter 4, verses 18 through 20. As he walked by the Sea of Galilee, he saw two brothers, Simon, who was called Peter, and Andrew, his brother, casting a net into the lake, for they were fishermen. And he said to them, Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. Immediately they left their nets and followed him. Imagine what that was like. I'm going to read you a note. It isn't real, but it could have happened something like this letter from people, excuse me, from Peter to the folks back home. To my dear family, Andrew and I send you our love and the hope that you are all well. It has been many months since we left our life on the sea to walk with Jesus. Brother Andrew and I know the sea and the winds and the ways of fish well, but this life with Jesus is very different. We still do some fishing to help feed the group we travel with, but more often we are on dry land. Every day, every hour it seems, we are asked to think differently and act differently than the ways we have learned from birth. I could not do it without the friendship and support of Andrew and the others. We talk about what Jesus is teaching us and we ask questions and often argue about the answers. You might be glad to know I have learned to listen more and shout less, but I have not yet learned to stay quiet when others speak their opinions. Jesus has much patience to be with us every day. He spends long hours trying to help us understand how to live with love first and personal opinions last. We depend upon one another for companionship and comfort. Jesus says we must learn to be dependent on our Heavenly Father for our needs. We never know where we will sleep or where our next meal will come from. Some in our group have a little money and they share for provisions. Some have friends in the towns we travel through and appeal to their kindness. There have been a few nights, surprisingly few, when our stomachs were empty when the sun went down. We have no place to call home, yet we have a community. Our love for Jesus and our desire to serve him and learn his ways keeps us together but we know we could leave at any time. And many come and stay a while and then go home again because it is not an easy life. There are powerful people who are angry and there is fear among us about what might happen. But I have never regretted coming and I will stay and serve as long as I am able. I will say that Andrew feels the same. We pray each night for all our loved ones. When I greet strangers each day and see the light in their eyes, 
I remember how reluctant I once was to go to any gathering. I only felt comfortable in my boat among the fish. I'm still awkward and make many mistakes, and yet my heart is full. Jesus says we are like lost sheep who have come home and found our shepherd. I've never thought much about sheep, but I am content to be here with him. Your loving sons, Simon, Peter, and Andrew. In the comments, you can continue to put some quotes. Maybe you've heard something in this story that reminded you of some quotes from uh, songs or uh, books you've read or other stories that you've heard, um, movies, TV shows, anything. Also, I don't know about you, but when it was talking about uh, spending a lot of time together, that's something that many of us are experiencing for the first time, really, uh, in this time of uh, lockdowns and, and uh, staying at home to help stop the spread of COVID-19. Uh, and some of us, are losing connections with our family. Um, living alone through this pandemic it has its own set of challenges. But through it all, we can make connections. We can make community. Give me your comments below. I look forward to reading them. Thanks.